things change, the more they stay the same. Boundaries shift, new players step in, but power always finds a place to rest its head. What up guys, this is BZK Hellraider here. Today I'm bringing you a best weapons and class setups guide to the EBR 800 sniper rifle. Uh, today we'll be playing on the map Frost, and I don't have a lot of good things to say about the sniper rifle, but if you get the right attachments and the right variant, you can at least do pretty well. Um, I don't know what you guys feel about sniping or how often you guys snipe, but this sniper rifle is one of the only semi-automatics and also one of the biggest hit marker machines. Uh, I feel like to make this gun a little bit more in line, they should definitely uh, reduce A, the kickback recoil to make it a little bit easier to follow up shots, or B, give it a superior stopping power so you, that you don't get hit markers. Now as for the assault rifle version, it's uh, pretty, pretty regular, it's pretty basic like the other assault rifles. It's a four shot kill, but since this is a sniper rifle and it is a transition weapon, it actually carries over the uh, sway from the sniper rifle form into the assault rifle form. So you find yourself aiming down a target, but you actually find yourself missing because of the sway and how it's affecting your bullets to travel. Just keep that in mind when you're using this weapon. Uh, as for class setups, it really depends on how you want to go. If you're really gonna, if you're if you're hell bent on using the sniper rifle mode only, uh, I suggest quick draw, ballistic CPU, the uh, legendary variant, which comes with a uh, free foregrip on it, and a nuclear attachment, I believe, also, and then another foregrip. This thing needs as much recoil reduction as humanly possible because the view kick after a single shot brings you up like half a screen, and you can. It's not easy to follow up your next shot. Um, if you're going to not use this like a sniper rifle, then my next class setup will be a little bit different. It will be quick draw, foregrip, and suppressor. Since this thing's a four shot kill and since this thing has a lot of sway, uh, you might as well be off the radar and use it like a normal kind of MV4 or actually a slower MV4, if you will, and just uh, nail people in the back and knock them down. As for a perks and combat rigs perks we're running dexterity obviously ghost scavenger is actually one of the big uh perks i'd run on this weapon which i don't usually run in sniper rifles but i find myself running out of ammo fairly quickly in the assault rifle mode and not having enough ammo to actually regenerate the sniper rifle mode uh, as for a third perk you can either use dead silence if you're really aggressive you can use hardware to stay off the minimap or you can use marksman like how i am here for the one to two times that i actually do want to switch over to the sniper rifle that i don't get kicked out of my screen when I'm killing somebody. Um, speaking of sniper rifle headshots and being on point, if you're going for the Black Sky Matter for this weapon, the assault rifle mode actually counts for all of the camos, so just keep that in mind if you're having trouble with a few of them. For specialists, I would run... Ooh, it's a toss-up. I would run a lot of escape specialists because this gun is very lackluster and does not have the ability to compete with a lot of other weapons. So think of like phase shift, FTL jump, uh, perception is a really nice one. Also, um, uh, supercharge from FTL, synaptic with rewind, combat burst, uh, rush down. Those are all fantastic. Uh, Merc with infusion, reactive armor, shoulder charge. If you get yourself caught in a really close quarter situation, you need to kill them instantly. Um, you can also run Phantom with active camo. You can run Phantom with Pulsar, which might help you out. Heightened Senses and Rear Guard really are nice, too. If you get shot in the back, you can take a couple extra shots. It all depends on what your playstyle is. and all depends on what you want to use. But that is my uh, class setup and what my, my suggestions are. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. If you want to see any other extra special weapons from me, just let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, of course, leave a thumbs up. And as for now, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this gameplay. This this is uh, BZK Hellraider signing off. I thought you had that be random, otherwise I wouldn't have pushed out.
Oh my god, I just got a triple with the actual sniper. He's back behind you, he's really weak MV4. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. sniper rifle but I did get a triple with it so